Fantomen. Review. Another year, another Phantom review. I've been a bit late, so it's two issues in one this time. Starting off with issue one of 2024. It actually came out last year, but uh, yeah, it's 2024 now at least. Test is covered by Henrik Salström. Nice to see that he hasn't totally stopped doing Phantom and covers. Then we get some information about uh, 2024. The highlights includes that we will see new creators debuting and a continuation of the 22nd Phantom Saga planned for the end of the year. Otherwise it's the same as last couple of years and that is good news that it's as good as those. Then we have the main story. It's uh, uh, Fru Adventure by a story by Andreas Eriksson and Ivan Rodriguez and it's nice to see it colored. I think the colors works really well and it's called The Sing Raiders. It's published in uh, Fru as I said in uh, issue 1952 from last year. It's about the 17th Phantom and Yuli and Sing Pirates and do I need to see more? No, it's uh, lots of action. I like it. Then we have a supplement. The schedule for issues this year. And uh, as also per usual by now, it's uh, one side has the when the times when the issues comes out or the days. And the other side does not. So this one is good for framing after the year is over. And then we have Youth of Torga, Thorgal, and uh, yeah, Thorgal always goes home, and this is uh, quite an interesting one. Then we get a preview of the next issue, we don't need to read that because we have the next issue right here. And this one has a nice cover by Henry... Johannes, quite cool. Uh, we get the main story in this one, or I mean, it's like three phantom stories, so I mean, can't get much better than that. The Treasure of the Barracuda by Norman Walker and James uh, Jaime Valve. And uh, it's a classic team phantom story spanning a whooping 46 pages. They don't do them like that anymore takes place both in the past and the present with the descendants walking in their forefathers footsteps on both sides of right and wrong. It is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a classic story. Everyone should read it. What do we have more? We got more Youth of Thorgal. And the conclusion of the one that we started reading last issue and we also get a sh very short story by Jakob Habich and Rafael Ruiz uh, it's made with a bit more of a American superhero style if you're watching on YouTube and uh, I guess a lot of fans don't like it but I mean I think it's cool that they're trying new things and uh, it's a bit more funny than usual Fantoma stories, as they usually are in these shorter ones. And then closing off with The Thousand Tigers by Lennart Hartler, Magnus Magnusson and Jane Valve again. And uh, this is also a classic Team Fantoma story and it's a must read. So we can know the backstory about why there are tigers in Bengala, Africa. Uh, so everyone, and it's the first time in color, I think. Then we get the information about voting for the best story of 2023. Everyone should also do that, who so has read all the stories. Uh, you can do it online at phantomen.org. Uh, and then we have preview of next issue. We get the... the um, Onskan Sendebud, I'm not sure what it's called in uh, English, but that's the story about how the Goodmark 
the origin of the good mark and lost in the eastern dark and that's a true story by Duncan Monroe and Daniel Picotto yeah looking forward to that and until next time happy phantoming